and welcome back. Today's video will be a brief explanation of what is cloud computing. Companies and organizations used to store all their files and data, also applications and software on their drivers and servers. This process was inefficient and limited. Companies had to buy more storage spaces and hardware to store more data. That takes way too much time and costs. Therefore, the invention of cloud technology was very important because it offers flexibility, unlimited storage, little no maintenance, higher level of data security, and most important, cost effectiveness. With cloud computing, organizations and companies can save money on storage and management services, and services can be moved to the cloud with the minimum cost, making processes more efficient with no time. So what is cloud computing? The delivery of computing services, including servers, storage, databases, networking, software analytics, and intelligence over the internet, to offer faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale. You typically pay only for cloud services you use, helping you lower your operating costs, run your infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as your business needs change. Cloud computing consists of shared computing resources that are virtualized and accessed as a service through an API, and the cloud enables users in an organization to run applications by deploying them to the cloud. A virtual data center, the physical resources, may reside in several locations inside and outside of an organization, on local hardware in an enterprise data center, or at a remote managed service providers on a pay-to-use basis. Cloud computing resources are offered as a service as needed basis and delivered by IP-based connectivity, providing highly scalable, reliable, on-demand services with agile management capabilities. There are many advantages to use cloud technology. Now these are the most important advantages. Cost. Cloud computing eliminates the capital expense of buying hardware and and setting up and running on-site data centers, the racks of servers, and the round-the-clock electricity for powering cooling. Security. Many cloud providers offer a broad set of policies, technologies, and controls that strengthen your security, helping protect your data, apps, and infrastructure from potential threats. Global scale. The benefits of cloud computing services include the ability to scale. That means delivering the right amount of IT resources, for example, more or less computing power, storage, and bandwidth, right when they're needed and from the right geographic location. Speed. Most cloud computing services are provided with self-service, so even vast amount of computing resources can be provisioned in minutes, typically with just a few mouse clicks, giving businesses a lot of flexibility and taking the pressure of capacity planning. Productivity. On-site data centers typically require a lot of racking and stacking, hardware setups, software patching, and other time-consuming IT management chores. Cloud computing removes the need for many of these tasks, so IT teams can spend time on achieving more important businesses' goals. Reliability. Cloud computing makes data backup disaster recovery and business continuity easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored at multiple redundant sites on the cloud provider's network. Performance. The best cloud computing servers run on a worldwide network of secure data centers, which are regularly updated to the latest generation of fast, 
and efficient computing hardware. This offers several benefits over a single corporate data center, including reduced network, latency for applications, and greater economies of scale. Types of cloud computing Public cloud Public clouds are owned and operated by third-party cloud service providers, which deliver their computing resources, like servers and storage, over the internet. Microsoft Azure is an example of a public cloud. With a public cloud, all hardware, software, and other supporting infrastructure is owned and managed by the cloud provider. You access these services and manage your account using a web browser. Private cloud. A private cloud refers to cloud computing resources used exclusively by a single business or organization. A private cloud can be physically located in the company's on-site data center. Some companies also pay third-party service providers to host their private cloud. A private cloud is one in which the services and infrastructure are maintained and on a private network. Hybrid cloud. Hybrid clouds combine public and private bound together by technology that allows data and applications to be shared between them. By allowing data and applications to move between private and public clouds, a hybrid cloud gives your business greater flexibility and more deployment options and helps optimize your existing infrastructure, security, and compliance. Type of cloud services. Most cloud computing services fall into four broad categories, infrastructure as service, platform as a service, serverless, and software as a service. These are sometimes called the cloud computing stack because they build on top of one another. Knowing what they are and how they're different makes it easier to accomplish your business goals. Infrastructure as service, the most basic category of cloud computing service with infrastructure as a service, you rent IT infrastructure service and virtual machines, storage, networks, and operating systems from a cloud provider. Platform as a service. Platform as a service refers to cloud computing services that supply an on-demand environment for developing, testing, delivering, and managing software applications. It is designed to make it easier for developers to quickly create web or mobile apps without worrying about setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of servers, storage network and databases needed for development, serverless computing, overlapping with platform as a service, serverless computing focus on building app functionality without spending time continually managing the servers and infrastructure required to do so. The cloud provider handles the setup capacity, planning, and server management for you. Serverless architectures are highly scalable and event-driven, only using resources when a specific function or trigger occurs. Software as a service. Software as a service is a method of delivering software applications over the internet, on demand and typically on a subscription basis. With software as a service, cloud providers host and manage the software application and underlying infrastructure and handle any maintenance like software upgrades and security patching. Users connect to the, to the application over the internet, usually with a web browser on the phone, tablet, or PC. Uses of cloud computing Create cloud-native applications. Quickly build, deploy, and scale applications, web, mobile, and API. Take advantage of cloud-native technologies and approaches, containers, Kubernetes, microservices, architecture, API-driven communication, and DevOps. Test and build applications. Reduce application development costs and time by using cloud infrastructure that can easily be scaled up or down. Store, backup, and recover data. Protect your data more cost-efficiently and at a massive scale by transferring your data over the internet to an 
off-site cloud storage system that's accessible from any location and any device. Analyze data. Unify your data across teams, divisions, and locations in the cloud. Then use cloud services such as machine learning and artificial intelligence to uncover insights for more informed decisions. Stream audio and video. Connect with your audience anywhere, anytime, on any device. With high definition video and audio with global distribution. Embed intelligence. Use intelligent models to help engage customers and provide valuable insights from the data captured. Deliver software on demand, also known as software as service. On demand software lets you offer the latest software versions and updates to customers. Anything they need them, anywhere they are. Example of clouds. Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, IBM Cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Gen2, VMware Cloud on AWS, Alibaba Cloud International, vCloud Air powered by OVH, Lumen Public Cloud, Career Paths in Cloud Technology, Cloud Architecture, Building, Maintaining, and Managing Cloud Infrastructure and Applications is the primary responsibility of professionals in cloud architecture. Cloud automation engineering. Cloud automation engineers ensure that cloud services are built to run smoothly without active user management. Cloud software engineering. This involves developing and maintaining databases, software, and cloud technology applications. Cloud network engineering. Working in this field involves connecting users and cloud service providers. Cloud network engineers are in charge of network infrastructure and management. Cloud security engineering. This position is concerned with keeping cloud-based platforms safe. Cloud security engineers typically design and maintain features or processes which repel security threats and data breaches of cloud-based platforms. A cloud engineer typically manages an organization's cloud systems and processes. However, each engineer's tasks and specific activities differ based on their role and specialty. Here is a short list of what a cloud engineer's job usually looks like. Utilizing cloud providers like Google Cloud, Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Service, or others to set up cloud architecture. Managing access to cloud-based systems and ensuring their security. Exporting existing infrastructures and information to cloud systems, administrating, maintaining, and troubleshooting cloud-based systems and platforms. Study software concepts, proficiency in Java, AngularJS, and or Python, bachelor degree in computer science, or a bootcamp with open source experience. Computer networking, study cloud concepts, basics and terms, deployment models, auto-scaling, clustering, data storage infrastructure, DevOps, CIDI, virtual machines, global deployments, cloud security practices, and serverless cloud model. Learn about tools, VMware, DevOps tools, Jenkins, GitHub, Ansible, containerization, Kubernetes, and Docker. Get certified in cloud platforms, Amazon Web Service, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. I have listed the certification links in the description box below. We have reached the end of today's video. I will be uploading soon a course about cloud technology. If you would like to learn more about this subject, stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you all for watching and if you like the content of this channel, please like and subscribe and don't forget to enable the notification bell to get the latest videos.